promise I will read for you another uh, page. So, uh, um, this is the last page I just read for you before. Okay, let's start our next page. Why do we blend seeds in spring? Seeds need to be warm and wet before that they sprout. As the spring sunshine starts to warm the ground, farmers and gardeners dig the soils and show their seeds. The plants won't take long to grow. Bees can see patterns and colors on flower petals that we can't. The cute guide them in, in like landing lights of an airport runway. Why are bees busy in summer? On warm sunny days, bees are busy visiting hundreds of flowers. Inside each flower, it's a drop of sugar with nectar. Bees feed on this and use it to make honey back at the hive. Why do leaves fall in autumn? In autumn, trees find it difficult to suck up water from the cold, frozen ground, so the leaves dry out. The leaves turn red, gold, and brown and fall to the ground, leaving the trees bare for winter. The trees will grow new leaves in the spring. Now all trees lose their leaf. Confiners Conifers can tooth leaves that can stand the winter cold. Why do animals sleep? Sorry, the mosquito. Why do animals sleep through the winter? For some animals, sleeping is the best way to survive the hungry winter days. Chipmunks, squirrel, hedgehogs, and some bears eat as much as they can in the autumn, then sleep. Somewhere safe until springtime. Many animals grow thick winter coats to help them survive the bitter cold. Oh no. Where where are there only two seasons? Many tropical countries are only two seasons in the year. Like Vietnam, there are only rain and sunny. Oh, one is very wet and the other very dry. Not many trees manage to survive the dry months and animals travel hundreds of kilometers searching for food and water. Many animals migrate <clears throat> in different seasons. Every year, swarms of monarch butterflies leave Mexico and fly 3,000 kilometers to spend the summer by cool Canadian lakes. During the dry season, the ground is baked hard by the hot sun. Clouds of dust cover everything and everyone. In the dry season, herds of wildebeest <coughs> and zebra cross the grasslands of Central and North <coughs> Africa. They follow the thunder clouds in search of rainwater and fresh grass. Tropical lands die near the equator. Uh, they are the warmest part of the earth. Where does its power for a month? Some parts of India and Southeast Asia have long, heavy downpours, cold monsoons, big black clouds, are blown in from the sea during the summer months. When the rain starts, it can last for weeks, flooding the fields and the street. Whoa, so poor. Who can tell the time without a clock? We all can. Inside every one of us, there's something called our body clock. It wakes up every morning until it's breakfast time. And all through the day, we seem to know just when it's time to work, eat and play. As evening comes, we get tired and get ready to sleep. Different kinds of animals live to different kinds of clock. A bee can a badger never meet. One is active by the day, 
The other is active by night. Newborn babies don't know their days from their nights. They just wake up their parents whenever they feel hungry. <clears throat> the, can flowers tell the time? A few flowers are such good timekeepers that they open at the same time every day. Gardeners sometimes blend flowers like these in flower clocks. There are many as 12 different flowers in the clock and they open one after another as the hours pass. Animals have body clocks too. In zoos and on farms, many of them know when it's feeding time. Can animals tell the time? Some wild animals are active by the day and others wake only at night. They can't tell the time of day or night, but some animals know the time of year. The Canadian snowshoe are hair nuns when winter is coming. It grows a white fur coat to hide it from foxes when the snow arrives. Okay, that's all. Later, I will read for you more and more.